What's up guys, welcome to day 35, um, last night, uh, as an update for last night, we, uh, we played VR, uh, you guys saw that in the vlog, um, we played that over at Brad's house, it was pretty fun, now, um, we came home after getting food and we passed out, that's something we do a lot nowadays, um, we basically just get in the bed and just, wake up like, what happened? So, that's what happened last night. Originally, I was supposed to give my reaction to two trailers. I was supposed to give my reaction to The Dark Phoenix and to Captain Marvel. I've gone ahead and altered that. Um, seeing as I passed out last night. Um, so, what I'm going to do this today is... Today, we're getting three Marvel movie trailers in a row. First, we're starting out with the final trailer for Venom. And we're going to go on to Captain Marvel... And then we're going to go on to the Dark Phoenix. So, I'm going to watch it, and then I'm going to record my reaction. And, you know, we'll have, like, maybe a minute, like, oh my god, that was cold. Like, oh my god, me freaking out, or whatever. So, that's that's basically what's coming up next, guys. Um, I will try to put a little snippet of, like, time in there so that I, you'll see which movie is coming in. I'll, I'll put something in there that you know which my what reactions to what movie, so... But uh, I'll see you guys in just a minute. So I just watched the uh, final Venom trailer, and I, I'm actually pretty hyped for it. Um, the first trailer I saw, it looked really, really good because it it just it showed like little bits and pieces of Venom here and there. It just showed maybe the powers, not the face, until the very end, where the like it's like the face comes over like this and goes, "We are." Venom. But I have to say, I'm I'm excited because I'm excited to see what they do with them. It does look like they're kind of following the Lethal Protector storyline. Um, they have them in San Francisco. Now, as most fans would know, uh, Venom is actually in New York, but he did go to um, San Francisco for a time basically becoming an anti-hero or a vigilante kind of thing where he was a good guy of sorts but not an actual bad character at all so i have to say i am really really hyped i'd say out of like one out of five hype wise i'd have to go at least at least four because every single new trailer i see i see little new bits new pieces here and there i saw the the beefy actual full venom body as it's like attacking people and stuff like that and fighting I cannot wait. Now, um, I don't know if they're going to have... I, I didn't see the spider on his chest or anything like that. I didn't see that in good detail, but probably within, uh, I'd say, I might not be able to see it in the 5th. I'd probably see it on the 7th, so I'm definitely, I'm excited for it, for sure. So, one down, two to go. So I just watched the Captain Marvel uh, trailer, and I I cannot believe that they they, they made it, like such a good trailer. Uh, they first off they hit well the nostalgic right off the bat with the blockbuster sign. That's just like as soon as it rolled down, you're like <laughs> blockbuster. Um, there's a few other like scenes where it's like literally you, you see like the ship in outer space. You see. Samuel Jackson with both eyes. Uh, I think that's really awesome. Because um, we get to see a whole different side of Samuel L. Jackson. It sounds like in the trailer he was ready to uh, retire. So, and the fact that this is what, in the 90s compared to what, the 2000s or something like that, whenever uh, Iron Man and stuff like that was supposed to happen. <clears throat> I don't know the official start date of when the timeline for the MCU actually begins. It's very muddled. Um, so, like, at least in the 90s, which I know that, like, there was history with Captain America and stuff like that. Um, but it shows her with powers, which she has... It looks like she has two different variations of the powers. Two different variations. It looks like she has, uh, like, the energy beams from her hands. And then at the end, it looks like she has the binary power, which is, like almost like she's in, embodied with the Nova Star or something like that. So, that looks awesome. It also looks like she was kind of, like, kidnapped and altered and, like, used as, like, a, um, a, a, basically as a tool. I don't know. 
Um, but I have to say, I one out of five. I'm five total five total 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 five because I cannot wait to see what they do with this. I mean, they did amazing things with Black Panther's uh, solo video film, which was the very first black superhero solo movie, and with the with that that just it blew up and it was an amazing movie just just on its premise alone. And then you look at Captain Marvel, which is Ah, no, I'm sorry, that's not the first. That's not the first woman. But it's Marvel's first um, woman-centric movie. And so far, it looks like they're blown out of the water just with the trailer alone. So I cannot wait for that. Uh, Like I said, total five hype. That's two down, one to go. Dark Phoenix is next. That, I can't, so I'm kind of a little speechless, um, because the, the possibilities of what's going to happen there is amazing, because they, it's an unplotted future for X-Men First Class, uh, that timeline, seeing as they went back and rewrote it, so that's, that's like an amazing, amazing possibility of what they're going to do, and it looks like they're going to do Dark Phoenix correct this time. And even better. <clears throat> because I see hints of Genosha in there. I see hints of... Um, new characters we haven't seen yet. I see hints of... Uh, a full fight... Of the X-Men versus Jean Grey. Dark Phoenix style. Um, and that just hints back to one of the comic book covers. Um, <clears throat> there looks like such a possibility. It also looks like there's stuff like... I'm not trying to get into spoilers or something like that, but, like, fights between characters, like, Hank and, uh, Professor X, because at one point, you see, uh, in, in, X, in the trailer, you see, uh, X, uh, Professor X standing with Storm, Cyclops, and Nightcrawler. You see, on the other side of that, Magneto standing with two unknown mutants, because I didn't, I didn't notice who they were in the com. I, I can't tell from the movie, alone, it looks like there might be some, like, new characters, and standing by Magneto's side is Beast, so I don't know what's gonna happen there, um, and it also looks like, you know, something happened between Gene and the X-Men, I don't know, and, uh, the fact that it's coming out so close to my birthday, um, my birthday is within days of, uh, February 14th, so that's, that's going to be amazing. Uh, I, I'm i also five five high up on that one. Because just the uh, uh, just the possibilities of what, what's going to happen uh, with the X-Men franchise now is amazing. Because not only that, are they going to continue it on where they're going right now? Or are they actually going to try to link it up with the Marvel MCU? So it, there's two different possibilities there. And I know there's a lot of people that say, well... They kind of fuck themselves when they did Logan, and it's like, no, Logan's an alternate universe. Logan and Gifted are supposed to be in the same universe. Uh, the events of uh, Gifted kind of like are the, the, the beginning of X-Men, uh, of, of Logan, Old Man Logan. Um, so I cannot wait to see where this goes, and I'm actually hyped to see it. So I hope you guys are too. Um, like I said, full on five hype. Um, yeah, you got three Marvel trills right there three back to back so uh, I gotta get start getting ready for work let's see what time it is yeah I really gotta start getting ready for work guys I'll see you when I get to work so later what's up guys I am at work officially um, and I decided it's time to try your so this is a um pastry I guess in the shape of a clam shell it's called concha Kancha. It says French sweet. Sweet. So, go ahead and dive this in. This is one of the newest ones we have at gas station. Hmm. It's really light, fluffy. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. It's not overwhelming. I don't like that. Usually terrible. Cool. I like it. Good one. 
it kind of reminds me of sugar bread, which is like <clears throat> a different one between like bread and then a sugar, that sort of thing. It's pretty good. But it's been a very slow day today. So just getting things done here and there. Finally figured out, I'd say like at least 90% of my list for Wagaween. And I'm actually going to be doing episodes 1 and 2 tonight and tomorrow to get them knocked out. So, hopefully, I don't pull my freaking passing out trick again. If I do, I'm going to be very, very upset because I want to be done with. Uh, I haven't decided if Chaos Vlogs are going to end or not, but I want them done so I can get them, get the episode 1 and 2 at least worked on. Because Monday is Halloween. Monday is October. That's when Vlogaloon starts, and I'm not prepared yet. So, we need to get right into that. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to enjoy this. We'll take customers for the coming. So, see you in a bit, guys. Well, guys, I finally made it home. Uh, just destroyed some Taco Bell, and I'm still awake. Yeah! Um, so, basically, what I'm thinking about doing is cracking up the laptop. Do some research, uh, finishing my intro, and then finally going to sleep bed. So, it may be another hour before I actually get to bed, but I'll get there. You know, I'm not waiting freaking forever to do it either. So, I'm gonna crack out the laptop here soon, but um, just in case I don't see you guys, because uh, uh, I have said that before, I'm like, hey, I'm staying up, I'm doing it, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, and all of a sudden, like, two minutes later, I'm laying in bed, and all of a sudden, <sighs> my god, I have fucking face just covered in slobber, like, what's going on? Uh, but, um, thank you for watching, and day 36 might be the last chaos vlog. Um, Vlogging will be starting here shortly. Um, Monday, um, I will have a video out. Um, Tuesday, I will have every single day. I will have some kind of video out or some kind of content. I'm realizing that I had, I didn't prepare like I should have with my free time, and there's a few things I need to do. So, luckily, I don't have to worry about uh, efeds. Uh, one, my main efed this week that much except for writing the results. Um, the other one I have to write the results for, I just have to post them up before Tuesday, be fine, so. But, that being said, I will let you guys go. I will see you day 36. I will see you in day 36. I said that weird. Um, and, you know, hopefully, you know, I might give you guys a sneak peek intro to uh, my vlogween. So, hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully I decide to do that. If not, you know, I'll give you some kind of other sneak peek, so. I'll see you guys in day 36.